What's going on? Hashtag j Rock Reviews family. Got yet another epic review. Over here at Warner Hyundai, Warner Genesis, I'll have the information down in the description. Today, we're gonna review a vehicle that pretty much speaks for itself. Today we'll be reviewing this 2023 Toyota Camry. You already know about Toyota reliability. We don't have to get into all that. And uh, on this channel, we review everything. Doesn't matter what type of vehicle it is, pickup, sedan, luxury car, sports car, we review it all. So I figured why not do something for the average person? A lot of times I notice a lot of car reviewers, they do the expensive stuff. Let's do something that me, you, and everybody else can enjoy. So here it is, with this camera. See, it's gotta get low, there she is. Yes, sir. But we'll go over the interior, the exterior, and then we'll take it for a spin. Y'all hang tight. Epic review, let's get into it. Y'all hang tight. Yes, sir, we here, have no fear. J. Rob Reviews is here. All right, crew, let's check out the exterior on this 2023 Toyota Camry. First things first, a lot of people don't like this new grill on these Toyotas and Lexus. I think they're pretty cool looking. They're functional. You can tell they get a lot of air in there. Anyway, there's your emblem. Very nice touches, basic. You got your HID headlights right there. Come around to the side. You got a nice pinstriping, as you can see. I'm gonna run in there and let you see it. Bam yes sir nice wheels from the factory nice touches all the way around come around here to the side check out this back end right here i like these uh tail lights on these look pretty cool right this is a le model nothing special but once again like i said this is a vehicle for the average consumer and i'm the people's champion so i want to give my subscribers and future viewers and this regular viewers something this basic today, man. We're going to enjoy this, take it out on the road, let y'all know what the Camry's all about with the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, known for its reliability. Once again, these vehicles speak for themselves. Check out that exterior, it looks good, especially in that white clear coat. I'm going to take a little quick look inside here. Nice touches, nice contrast stitching here on the dash cover. Cloth seats, but hey, like I said, this is for the average consumer. It's got a nice touch screen right there with reverse camera. With trajectory, I'll go more in depth as we uh, get ready to take it out for a spin. But I just wanted to give you all a you know, preview of the interior. As you can see, nice, nice, nice. You got your power controls right there and power lumbar. And there's your driver information center. Y'all hang tight. Here's your back seat accommodations comfortable spacious i'm gonna hop in here in one second give y'all a leg room test and go from there y'all hang tight here's the leg room test if y'all want to know what the seat where i had it the driver's seat here's the view from back here nice touches all the way around what y'all think y'all got a nice little cubby storage area right there you got map pockets on the back of the seat comfortable seating accommodations y'all excuse the lighting but have no fear j rock reviews is here Yes, sir. Got enough room back here to lay down. <laughs> another test, another one, another one. We here. <laughs> y'all, excuse me. I'm back. <laughs> Let's keep going, y'all. <laughs> All right. There is the cargo area. Pretty spacious, as y'all can see. Nice touches all the way around. Show y'all the spare tire real quick. Got all your tools right here. Change your tire. And there's your spare. Nice touches all the way around. Oops. Put that back down gently. Push that little piece right back in because you pulled up to open it. So push that back in. Make sure you do that. 
And there she is. It's got a manually uh, operated trunk. You can use the button inside the car. You can use the key fob, all that good stuff. Put this down. Got a reverse camera right there. Nice touches, y'all. Hang tight. Getting closer. One more look at the spacious rear seat accommodations in this Camry. We're going to look at the front passenger compartment here in a second. Y'all hang tight. Last but not least, the passenger side of your Camry ride. Once again, nice contrast stitching on the dashboard. We'll get more into that in one second. Get ready to take this thing on the road. What's going on, crew? We are about to take this Camry out for a spinny spin spin. All right, so first things first, Toyota reliability, y'all already know. Here's the key fob. It's basic. It's got a nice weight to it. You got lock, unlock. Uh, hold this button right here for the trunk release. And a button down here for the panic alarm. And it's basic. Like I said, this folds out, folds in and folds out. This actually does have an actual key. It's not a push button start. Go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Get this air going. So you got your tachometer over to the left. You got a nice digital display here in the center. And over to the right, you got your speedometer and fuel. So it's it's pretty basic, like I said. Um, you do have menu options here on the uh, on the screen here in the center. So right now I got the miles per hour and the mileage up there. You have an eco indicator. Uh, you got your fuel range and your average fuel miles to the gallon right there. You have your average fuel miles to the gallon here as well. And then your average speed. Press hold to reset. Those are your trip things there and we're gonna go back I'm gonna leave it on the mile per hour and all that good stuff so you look around speaks Toyota speaks volumes like I said Toyota's near and dear to me uh, my last job before I started this business started this journey almost two years ago I was working at a Toyota dealership here in my local area and when I first moved to Orlando I worked at courtesy Toyota shout out to courtesy Toyota uh, thank you all for my start with loving cars way back then in the early 2000s shout out to courtesy Toyota um, But anyway, we're here um, Here is your airbag cover your horn Like I said, you got your menu items and your Bluetooth over here You can turn up the volume on the radio right here on this side over this side you have You got steering uh, assist and then you also have uh, the sensors right here you can press that in. Go try that out when we get on the road. You got cruise control right here. You have different modes that you can change into the infotainment system right there. It's basic, like I said, it's just simple, but you know what you get when you get a Toyota. So down here, you got your automatic high beam uh, button that you can turn that off and on. You got your traction control, and then you got the button here for your trunk release. Uh, this is a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. That is a nice feature at this price point, so that's that's a plus then you got you know you got some hard plastic up here but it still looks solid solid door solid feel to the door got your window controls here you got a nice little storage area down here for a water bottle or whatever you want to put nice touches here we're going to come across here to the center you move my phone out the way you do have a 12 volt right there cigarette charger then you have a uh, usb port right there that you can plug in you got nice storage down here got your transmission shifter it does have a reverse camera with trajectory right there nice touches there you do have an eco a normal and a sport mode you got different drive modes you got two cup holders right here you got a nice size center console and you have your charging ports in there as well pretty deep as you can see nice soft touch materials here on the center console head over here to the passenger side there's your contrast stitching that goes across your dash cover nice touches there nice little trim right here and then you got black around the uh gloss black around your center area right here it's okay i just know it's known for fingerprints and whatever but you know get your microfiber towel you'll be all right all right so here's your dual zone climate control you can sync the air conditioning between the passenger side and the driver side or you can just control them separately if you would like two different zones right there Here's your infotainment. You have hard buttons. This one thing I like about this particular system, you have hard buttons, plus it is touchscreen as well. So cool touches there. Let's see, touchscreen plus the hard buttons. Nice touches there. You can do, tap into your um, 
Bluetooth stuff right there. Somebody's already connected. <laughs> then you got different apps here. Uh, so you got Wi-Fi in the vehicle, and then you got your notification stuff here. Once again, you got that reverse camera. Nice touches there. Simple yet understated. You know, sunglass holder right here. Safety button right here. You do have LED lighting, which is a nice touch. Once again, at this price point, you do have your mirrors right there nice touch there as well led lighting for that and then you have the extendable uh sun shades right there so that's pretty cool and uh yeah back seat y'all already saw the back seat room test i could even lay down back there plenty of room back there and uh yeah simple yet understated once again camry toyota reliability you can't beat it y'all hang tight let's go for a ride all right so we go ahead and take this old camry out on the road First things first, the 2.5 liter four cylinder is super smooth. Uh, we're gonna get up here, we'll do a U-turn test. Give you, see what the turn circle is all about. But yeah, first things first impressions, it's super smooth in here. Everything just feels solid. The switch gear, just the doors, just a solid vehicle. It'll give you many, many miles of uh, good service. You know, typical Toyota stuff. So, can't beat it. All right, so I got the uh, steering all the way locked out. Let's see how she does. She turns around in the first lane. Nice touches. Smooth operation of the transmission. No fuss there. It's good stuff. That's what we call a long-term vehicle. Y'all hang tight. Let's ride. Let's J ride. So yeah, what does it feel like in driving this Camry under normal circumstances? Like this uh, average in town driver. Super smooth, the ride comfort is excellent. The isolation from the outside noise is excellent. You do have all these different safety features. Like I said, you have this lane assist. So when you get ready to drift, it kind of holds it right there in the center gives you an alert right there and get you back in get you back centered so there it is so nice touches it gives you an alert here in the center and over here to the left side of the where the speedometer is let you know put your hands back on the wheel so you know like I said at this price point this vehicle is very well appointed you know a lot of safety a lot of tech in the screen as you can see and uh, just nice touches all the way around visibility all around is really really good straightforward you can see the hood little touches of the hood the a pillars are small b pillars over the shoulder are a pretty good size so you know good visibility all the way around y'all hang tight all right so we're gonna get ready to hop on the old interstate um something i wanted to share with you all um this does go into a dedicated eco mode as you can see on the right by the miles on the vehicle uh, but you also have another eco mode button right here that you can press to get even more miles to the gallon you got a normal which is normal uh, drive mode and then you have a sport mode so we're gonna go ahead and put it in sport you get a little red uh, detail that comes up on the top here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, take it out on the interstate when I tell you this engine and transmission combination is so smooth you barely even feel the gear shifts. This feels good. Really, really solid vehicle. Like I said, Toyotas have been near and dear for me for a long time. I remember I worked at uh, Courtesy Toyota in Orlando, like I was saying earlier, uh, when I was really young. <laughs> really, really, really young. And um, there's just so many memories for that dealership. I got my first apartment on my own working there. I also learned how to drive manual. Um, I was a service porter at the time, and I would always duck and dodge all of the, uh, anytime a manual would come in, a Celica, those MR, uh, MR2s, I think it's called. This all kind of, anything manual. Tacomas had manuals, um, and I would always duck and dodge them when I would see somebody come in with a manual. And one day, there was nobody 
there. The ride comfort over this ripple bridge, by the way. I'm sorry about that. The ride comfort over this ripple bridge is really rippled bridge is really really good. Um, back to story time. So this guy comes up with this brand new uh, Celica. I think it was a GTS. It was a six-speed manual, and they had a little bench on the. Uh, they had a little bench on the service lane and nobody was there other than me everybody was on lunch and they were ready to move that vehicle out on the lot so the service guys could get to it and i hopped in there pushed the clutch down and i stalled it right in front of the customer he was like that's okay and he luckily he was cool but after that um we had a old parts truck that was a manual a old t100 and so I took the old T100 with the half rec half working clutch and learned how to drive a manual at the back of the lot when I was on lunch. You know, I would do it pretty much every day. And then uh, they sent me on a dealer trade to, I was in Orlando, Winter Park, shout out Winter Park, uh, down to uh, South Florida, Miami, me and my coworker. And long and behold, it was a six speed, uh, Celica and I made it to Miami and made it back safely on a dealer trade so I saw that's how much Toyota means to me real talk and like I said uh, working at Peter Bullware Toyota here in Tallahassee shout out to them I forgot to shout them out earlier before I started my business so Toyota has always been near and dear so back to this old review breaking it down from highway speeds the brakes nice firm brake pedal y'all hang tight all right here we go give y'all a little acceleration test sounds good sound good so this something to give y'all a perspective on in sport mode throttle tip in is a little bit more accessible which leads to better acceleration of course uh, this is a drive-by-wire system, and you can really feel the difference between the drive modes. I just wanted to let y'all know that. Throttle response is much, much better uh, in sport mode. Peace. So, yeah, uh, we are headed back in on this review. Motivational minute. Don't ever give up, y'all. God will make a way out of no way. Um this a personal testimony you know when all else fails stick to who got you here the journey is to get back to where we came from that's all I can say so we're gonna turn this old Camry back in here and uh, once again it's just been a good run I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, this video just as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. We're gonna wrap it up, park this thing back in the spot and uh, go from there. God bless you, God keep you to the next time. And uh, we'll go from there. Y'all hang tight. And just like that, y'all, just wanted to give y'all another view. Got a nice sun, sun, got a nice sun exposure here is what I was trying to say. There she is. The old 23 Camry. Once again, like I said earlier, gratitude is my attitude. Thank you all for watching. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification to all so you can see more videos. 670, vehicle, 670 videos and counting. So support the brand. And uh, I'll try to bring some more unique vehicles to y'all. Y'all hang tight.